Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into AV1 video codec and also on the future of streaming. Okay, so let's get started. We have come a long way from watching blurry 240 pixel CAD video to 720p and then 1080p and now we want everything in 4K or even in 8K. But here is the problem. High resolution means higher amount of bandwidth is required and more data transfer over internet that means more buffering and more internet bills in the server side for streaming platforms it means more storage support streaming companies spend billions on bandwidth and storage more data means more storage support is required which results in more cost and if your internet isn't very fast you will not be able to stream high quality video like 4k okay here is another shocking fact most of the popular video codec requires royalty fee for example h264 which is one of the most popular video codec and h265 which is designed for 4k requires licensing cost paid by companies like netflix youtube or even device manufacturers so when Sony designed a camera which record video in 4K and uses H.265, they definitely paid a patent fee to the company that developed or I would say invented the efficient algorithm for this codec. And also same goes for GPU manufacturer. If a GPU uses H.265, then they already paid a patent fee or a loyalty fee to a company called MPG LA, which is responsible for receiving the patent fee for all the popular video codec like H264 or HEVC or H265, etc. Okay, so those are the key obstacles for high quality video streaming over internet and for streaming video from platform like Netflix or Twitch. And here comes AV1 video codec into play. AV1 is free no licensing fee is required and streaming platforms love it and that's why netflix youtube and even android devices are adopting it very fast with av1 you can watch your favorite show in high resolution without worrying about slow internet speed or you can watch your favorite streaming on twitch in 4k so how av1 compares with uh, popular h264 and also with HEVC or high efficiency video coding by MPG. To understand that, I have compressed a H264 video of one minute length into HEVC and then AV1. The H264 video had 10 megabyte in size when video was encoded to H265 or HEVC, it was 7 megabyte. And when the video is encoded in AV1, guess what the size was only 5 megabyte keeping the same quality uh, now imagine scenario where netflix stream this video to 1 million subscriber or 1 million times now the total bandwidth they need to serve for the h264 which is 10 megabyte in size is 10 terabyte and for h65 it is 7 terabyte and for av1 it is 5 terabyte keeping the same quality as H.264 or H.265. This thing has a very big implication. That means just using AV1, server can save 5 terabyte of bandwidth and also save millions of dollars for storage cost. So who benefits from AV1? It is actually everyone. For streaming platforms, less bandwidth, lower cost and better quality so they can serve more customers and for viewers, faster loading, less buffering and better quality on slower internet. So this is a win-win situation and you can stream video to Twitch in very high quality and your audience can enjoy the video without worrying about slow internet speed or buffering. But one downside for everyone is it is still a bit slow to encode but with better hardware support that is only getting faster. For platforms like YouTube or Netflix that is not an issue because that is a one-time overhead once the video is encoded they will be serving it with minimum overhead so because of slow encoding speed when you are streaming games to twitch or any other platform 
a GPU support is crucial and here is a list of all the NVIDIA GPU that support AV1 encoder. Here for NVIDIA we have a matrix that support AV1 encoder. As you can see all 7 generation GPU or 3000 series GPU do not support AV1 encoder as you can see here but all 8th generation NVIDIA GPU support AV1 both encoding and decoding. Decoding is supported by almost all GPU but for encoding which is required while you stream video to a platform like YouTube or Twitch that is only supported from RTX 40, 40, 000, uh, 4000 series okay. Intel GPUs also support AV1 codec and they were the early adopters NVIDIA then supported in their 4000 series GPU. AV1 is getting adopted like a rocket and it will be the future of streaming industry and will be encoding videos in 4k we will be enjoying video in 4k without worrying about our internet speed so that's all for this tutorial if you have learned something out of this video i would highly request to hit the like button and let me know what you think about this coding standard what are the thing that you agree or disagree or if you have any feedback feel free to put that in the comment section too i hope you are having a 